Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. My name is Insane Gamer. In the last episode, we face against Archie because he's right next to us. We're not facing him anymore. But we awaken Kyogre and now there's something wrong. The Red Orb is supposed to awaken and control Kyogre. Kyogre. <laughs> but why? Why did Kyogre disappear? I know it's Kyogre, but I'm making fun of you guys. Kyogre. Why? What have you wrought? <laughs> you finally awoken Kyogre, haven't you? Kyogre, aren't haven't you? <laughs> hey, what? Archie. Oh, not Archie speaking, it's Maxi. <laughs> what will happen to the world if this downpour continues for all eternity? Is it gonna rain for like all eternity? Where's the water come from? The world's landmass would drown in the deepening sea. What? Don't get all high and mighty with me. Wasn't it you, Team Magma, that infuriated Groudon? So long as I have this red orb, I shall be able to control Kyogre. I shall be able to control it. We don't have the time to argue about it here in this cave. Let's argue outside. Get outside and see for yourself. Oh, okay. See if what you wrought is the world that we desire. Chris, come on, you have to get out of here too. Why am I involved in this? <laughs> what happened? What is this wretched scene? Did I make a horrible mistake? I, I really wanted. Do you understand now, Archie? It's sunny. Do you finally see how disastrous your dream turned out to be? We have to hurry. We have to hurry. We have to do something about before the situation goes completely out of control. Chris, don't say anything. Okay, I'm a protagonist. <laughs> I'm the protagonist of the game. I don't. I don't get to say anything. I know that I have no right to be critical of Archie. Yeah, you really don't, because he did walk in on guard on. But the way things are now, I doubt that we humans will be capable of doing anything about it. You think so? I mean, we can try and battle them, catch them in Pokeballs, and slay them forever, and just keep them in the PC box forever, and not, never use them ever. But neither can we stand by and just watch helplessly. Kind of what we're doing right now. The responsibility for putting an end to this falls to Archie and me. And me. The player. This defies belief. Those super aging Pokemon, so they're really old. Their power is unbelievable. They have set it the balance of nature. Balance of nature. And there they go, running away. And I cannot move. Chris! What's that? What's, what is happening? This was terrible. You just missed uh, t Archie and Mac Maxi. After the scorching heat wave ended, this deluge began. If this doesn't stop, I love Hoenn. No. Kanto, Johto, Sino, Nova, and Kalos, and. What's it called? It's just Hawaii. Now the whole world will drown. This huge rain cloud is spreading from above Sutopolis. What in the world is taking place there? There's no point in arguing here. I'm not even. I'm not even talking to you. I'm not even arguing. The top of my provide answers. Okay, let's go, Chris. I don't know what you're intending to do, but don't do anything reckless. What to do? do? Okay, I'm going to talk topless. Okay, I'll go with you. Uh. Okay. Sure. Let's go in here. Let's see what's down here. I don't think anything, but let's see what's here. Find a protein. Great. <laughs> I doubt it's any good for, good now because it's probably spoiled. But in the real in this game, you know, top is huh? Okay. I kind of lost track of time and track of my train. Here we are. Here's Crowdon and Kyogre. That looks pretty cool, I have to admit. Even back, you know, uh, especially now, it's kind of cool. 
back then it was really awesome though like you never get to see the kind of thing and they're just button heads man they really hate each other for some reason I don't even know why and there they are blocking blocking the entrance to the gym but I'm gonna come in here because why not because screw the plot that's why uh, you guys are aware that the world is gonna end pretty soon just go home and be with your families be with your Pokemon just or run away from here you know no all right sure Fampy, can hear. Swampert, Chester, come on, let's go. We'll probably need them another time, but not right now. At least I don't think. Okay, let's go over there. Let's see what Kyogre has to say. Nothing? Nothing? Groudon? Nothing? I can go. I can. I can literally cannot go between. I can go fishing here and just not give a damn, but I do give a damn. Kyogre, what's wrong? Look over here. It's the red orb. Come down, Kyogre. Dot 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 dot. It's no good. It's not responding at all. Groudon, please stop what you're doing. I know the extent of your power now. If you keep going, I'll have Hoenn. Our Hoenn, not just the topic, will be utterly ruined. So they don't want... Okay. Where's Steve? He said he was going to be here. He lied to me. Oh, there you are. You didn't lie to me. Those Pokemon fighting Groudon and Kyogre. I need to cough. The two super edgy Pokemon were awakened from a long sleep. And now they are smashing each other with their uncontrollable energy. Chris. You being here now, I take it to mean that you're prepared to become involved in this crisis. Uh, not really. You told me to come here, so... Well then, there's something, there's someone that I'd like you to meet. <gasps> Who could it be? Come with me, please. Who could that be? And I'm not moving whatsoever. I mean, I'm moving, but I'm not controlling... The keyboard. So yeah. Listen, Chris. Or no, I am. Does seeing Groudon Kyogre make you think Pokemon are, be are to be feared? Oh, okay. But that's not true. Pokemon are really more. Why well, I'm asking you this? You already know. I don't know. Should they be feared? With their immense power? I mean, who's to say that <laughs> because humans are smarter, we created poke we created Pokeballs, and they just sort of submit to ourselves, to submit themselves to us. Okay, here we are, the Cave of Origin. Inside here, you'll find someone named Wallace. I think you have what's needed to help him. You know, for the longest time, I thought Wallace was a girl. <laughs> Looks like a girl. Kind of flamboyant. Kind of. Not really, but a little bit. And here are the Cave of Origin with rocks around being all cool and fancy like that. What do you have to say, Wallace? Ah, so you are Chris. I've heard tales of your ex exploits. My name is Wallace. Yes, I know. I'm aware. I was once the gym leader of Zootopolis, but something came up. So now, I've entrusted my mentor, Juan, with the gym's operation. Just as flamboyant as you, as a... Dot 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 dot. Groudon and Kyogre, the two Pokemon wreak, wreaking havoc here, are considered to be super ancient Pokemon. But there aren't just two super ancient Pokemon. <gasps> There's three? There's one more somewhere. Really? Yeah, let's just make it worse. <laughs> Why not? Let's make the situation worse. Somewhere, there's a super Asian Pokemon named Rayquaza. Rayquaza. However you, guys want to however you guys want to say it. I say Rayquaza. It's said that it was Rayquaza 
let's become the two combatants in the distant past. But even I have no clue as to Rayquaza's whereabouts. Well, duh, because if you did, most people did, they were trying to capture this awesome beast. Chris, do you perhaps know where Rayquaza is now? If you do, please tell me. Cave of Origin, Vampire, or Sky Pillar? Um, by the properties of the game, we are in the Cave of Origin, so Rayquaza can't be here. Vampire can't be it because we just were we were there, so it can't be here. And the Sky Pillar, which we have not seen, heard of, or know where it is, it has to be it. Unless, unless I don't remember. The Sky Pillar? How on earth do I know this? That's it! It must be the Sky Pillar! So you do know where it is. You lie to me. Chris, not a moment to lose. We've had to the Sky Pillar right away. You could just take me with you. You just had to leave by yourself. I don't even know where Sky Pillar is. Well, I do, but I'm like, not my character. There's Pokemon in here? It's a cave, Chris. It's a cave. Of course the Zubats are right here. Way to, way to ruin the tension. Okay. The Sky Pillar. I've never been there. I wonder what it could be. A person with strong will and superior talent. A trainer who has knowledge and experience of many kinds of Pokemon. If such a person were to appear, I was instructed by Wallace to lead that trainer to this cave. And you failed, because that was me and you, and you denied me from going in. Did one job and you failed. Actually, yeah. I don't want to use dive. Get to Mustip City, and even here it's raining. It's raining all over the world. Except certain places. I think if you go to Little Root Town, you're the town you were born, uh, not born, but uh, where you moved to, I'm pretty sure it won't be raining there. I'm positive. So, there's only one more city that we have not gone to in the entire Hoenn region. And maybe they might have some answers there. Maybe. No, come over here. Maybe that's where it could be. I don't know. Here is the. Uh, the we were just here. Where we found Kyogre. And. Not really anymore. I guess not the entire Hawaiian region is subject to the rain and drought. Only some places is. Trainers here, trainers there, trainers everywhere. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> I thought I was gonna go back down. What a surprise! I know. I didn't expect to see Trainer in the sea. I think we should battle. Uh, no. The world is ending and I have to put a stop to this. And you were delaying the the world saving person with your Gyarados, your stupid Gyarados. Spark, just get rid of it. Boom, four times weakness. Flash crew to level 35. Awesome. Player defeated, Swimmer Rodney. Oh, you're Mitch Romney, maybe. Okay. Anyways, coming over here, and that looks, that looks kind of phallic. Uh, I don't know where to go, so just come this way. Screw those people. Screw those people. Screw you! The sea is teeming with Pokemon. It's not easy swimming, I tell you. So Mer Richard would like to battle. Dumb Richard and your Pella bird. Your stupid bird. Spark, even though you can use confuse Oh, protect. Never mind. 
Usually Pedibirds are really annoying because they have protect and you can just protect the first, second turn, first turn, second turn to delay the inevitable. Pokemon Red trainers are seriously tough. No crap. We're power off. I'm not risking it, bruh. I'm not risking it, bruh. Proper bruh. Okay, good. Uh, screw you. Screw you too. And here we are. Pacific Lock Town. Maybe these guys know what's going on. See, isn't it neat? These houses are on water. Clearly I was wrong. What did it say? The ancestors of Pokemon in Pacific Lock were said to have been born on boats and then lived and died aboard them. Ooh. I understand that they live that way because they were searching for something. Maybe the Sky Pillar? Maybe. Maybe. We come up here. In the Hoenn region, there are three Pokemon that represent the power of rock, ice, and steel. Each of them is said to hide away deep inside caves. That's a story I heard when I was just a little kid. Interesting. Six dots open three doors. Grandpa used to say that, but I don't know what he meant. I don't know either. Maybe this isn't the right, the right town to go to. Maybe we're doomed. Maybe we weren't meant to find the Sky Pillar at all. He could have told us where it was, but no. It didn't bother to do that. Oh well. I guess the world is doomed to die. Forsaken in the wrath of Friardon and Kyogre. And nothing we can do about it except except the fact that I know what Sky Pillar is and I'm trying to be, trying to be dramatic, but I guess not. You do have to go to Pacific Lock, but uh, there's a way where they sort of tell you where it is. But by now, with the knowledge of Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, they sort of want you to know where it is. Even though you never technically played Emerald yet. It's really weird, I don't know. Oh my, I'm totally sorry. You should be, because I did not know where I was. Luckily for me, I don't live in this world. I second nature. Fourth wall breaking, stuff like that. In my haste, I didn't notice that you left you behind. I've opened the door, the locked door of the sky pillar. Chris, let's be on our way. And that's actually right because there's an earthquake. No, um, if you do come here on your own, you'll find that the door is locked with the door. The door is locked with the door, yes. And there's no way to, there's no way to go in. So, so you, you have to wait until this very moment to go in. The switch is getting worse. This isn't good. The weather distortion is spreading even here. Chris. Stop saying my name. Don't worry out. Rayquaza should be further up from here. I'm worried about Sotopolis. I've got to go back. Everything's in your hands now. Don't fail us. The Sky Pillar. And of course it's Pokemon. But of course there's actually some good Pokemon here. Um, some rare Pokemon actually. So you might want to consider trying to find some of these good Pokemon because reasons. I, I do have my repel, right? Yeah I do. What gives? Maybe I'm, doing, I'm too low level. Okay Chester. Come up here. Earthquakes, damn it. What? Level 37? 36? Or what? Clay doll. Haha. <laughs> 37. You can find wild clay dolls here. Oh gosh. Darn it. Surf. Ancient power. Somehow he's faster. For some reason. They should not get on one hit, maybe. Oh no, that's how defensive he is. Sam Storm, you're just wasting time. I am a ground type. I do not, I do not take damage from sand. Okay. 
and change the crew to line 99. Why can't you just give me the thousand? Why can't you just give that to me? Oh wow. Stupid, stupid. Oh crap. Please tell me. Please tell me I don't need to I'm with the mock bite. Please tell me I don't need the mock bite. Okay, good. <laughs> I was scared for a minute. By the way, the higher, the higher the pillar you go up, the higher the levels they are. They tend to be. And here we have Ataria! Oh, snap. This is the rare Pokemon you can find here. Um. I'm gonna try and catch this. Just for the sake of having it. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna knock it out. Pretty defensive. Yeah. <laughs> no way I was gonna knock it out. And missed. Two. What else do we have? I'm sensing Dragon Breath and maybe Takedown? Maybe? Good. I'm gonna try and catch it right now. With the Pokeball. Because why not? I love the Pokeball. I don't tend to use any other ball except the Pokeball. When I catch legendaries. I don't know, it's just. It's just my thing. But with broken Pokemon like this, why not? Just catch it. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Oh, I almost had it. Let's use Surf. Come on. Oh, I thought I could that for a minute. Gives me sick right now, and Ultra Ball should catch it this time. Hopefully. No? What? Dragon Breath. You stop that right now. You stop that. Ultra Ball. Go! One, two, three. Yeah. Iconotaria. Uh, just for the sake of having it, it hums in a beautiful soprano voice. It flies among white clouds in the blue sky. It launches intensely hot fireballs from its mouth. Pretty cool. No, I'm gonna name it. Even though I should. Try the cool po it's a really cool Pokemon. You know what's cooler than that? That green Pokemon right there. He's woken. And he flew away. No red orb, no green orb, and no blue orb needed. Whatsoever. Let's fly off. See where he went. I'm assuming he went to Sutopolis. He probably read my mind. He probably knows. And his cutscene. And they moved away. And there's Groudon Kyogre. Still fighting. Mostly raining. And not doing anything. Oh! How awesome is that? And like that, the world has been saved by none other than me and Rayquaza, but mostly me. Next time, we'll be challenging Wallace, the final gym leader 
of the Hoenn region. Get her its badge. And complete our dreams of becoming champion of Hoenn. Because we have to defeat the Lee Four first. And the champion. Whoever that whoever in the might that be. So, on that note. I hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastic day, and thank you for watching. Bye!